Hello, I'm Donna Lankford and I'm the supervisor here at the Thomas Water Treatment Plant and we're going to do a little virtual tour and I'm going to be your guide. Come on in, we're glad to have you. We have three water plants around Forsyth County in addition to the water treatment plant you're about to tour. We also have the Nielsen Water Treatment Plant in Clemens and the Swan Water Treatment Plant in Pofftown. Together, our water treatment plants can treat up to 91 million gallons a day. We get that water from the Yadkin River in Salem Lake. Let's take a look at how we turn ever-changing river and lake water into safe, clean drinking water. Our first stop was the lab. If you've ever sat in a math class and wondered where am I ever going to use this stuff, right here's your answer. This is our jar test here. This is one of the many processes we run here in the lab every day. This one lets us check our chemical dosage to make sure that we're feeding the proper amount of alum. All right, we just started the jar test. We'll come back in a few minutes after it's done all its processes and stopped, settled, and we'll see what the perfect alum dose of the day is. This is the operator's control room where our operators monitor the plant and the distribution system. Due to security reasons, we can't show you anything in here, but be well aware that we are watching the system and the plant all the time. This is where all the really cool stuff happens. Our first stop is the flocculators. This water is not ready for you to drink yet. These are flocculation basins. This process is actually stirring it, the water and the chemical together and causing a reaction in the water. The coagulation is actually chemistry at work. They're using positive and negative charges and making them want to come together and make bigger particles. This is the first stage. This is also the dirtiest stage. As we go down, you'll see the particles coming together. And you can actually see the flock floating in the water. What flock is, is where the dirt particles have actually stuck to each other. And that's part of the reaction we're after. You can see where they're coming together and they make little teeny tiny looks like balls of stuff floating in the water. That is actually the dirt being separated from the water. But this is really neat. I mean, literally, you're, you're taking dirt and making it want to stick together so it'll fall out. And you can actually see the process happening in each stage. It's really cool to watch. Real life science experiments every day. This is the sedimentation process here. As we go down through here, you'll actually see the water gets clearer and clearer as we go. But what we're doing at this point is we slow the water way down so that the water, the particles that are in the water have time to fall out because this basin is uh, 150 feet long. And by the time we get to the end, you'll actually be able to see the bottom, which is 16 feet deep. Now let's visit the filters. This is the final process that the water goes through before it's complete. This is a filter wash. It's fixing to start. You can actually see the anthracite coal on the bottom here. After the filter runs, it's allotted number of hours, we take it out of service and backwash it to remove the dirt. And then once it's clean, we can put it back in service. There's small, part, fine particles left at the end of the sedimentation basin, and they're really tiny. And the filters actually take those leftover particles out of the water so that when the water comes from this process, it's as clean as it comes to your sink. The bubbles are starting to come up. As that air comes up through the filter, it literally causes a scrubbing action to the cold. Once we get done with the filters, the final part of the process is adding chemicals, and these chemicals are to protect the system and the customers. We add disinfection. We use bleach for disinfection purposes. We use fluoride to protect teeth. Uh, this is especially important for children under the age of six. We add pH and zinc ortho for corrosion control in the system. That protects the pipes for us and in your home, and especially for your hot water heater. 
Once we have the water with the chemicals in it, then we run it through these tanks, which has got baffles in it, and that gives it enough time to mix the chemicals in before it comes to your home. And then we pump it to your homes from there. Let's take a quick trip back to the lab and check on our jar test. This is Johnny Duckett. He's one of our operators. He is going to finish this jar test up for us. What we're going to do is uh, vacuum drain it through uh, his uh, millipore filter and time it. We're going to do that to each one of these samples and see what gives us the, you know, the least amount of time to uh, get filtered. And that plus the pH is going to give us the optimum dosage to use. It's a simulation of the plant in a hole going through your coagulation, oculation, sedimentation, filtration. We have seven pump stations, three ground storage tanks, and 14 above ground tanks that we use to store more than 50 million gallons of water with another 20 million storage at the water plant. All that is delivered to faucets all around the county through 2,300 miles of water lines. Even though your drinking water makes quite a few stops before it gets to your home, we guarantee it's safe and clean. In fact, our water is more regulated than bottled water. Don't believe us? You can visit the City of Winston-Salem's website to view our federally mandated water quality report. Not only is our water more regulated than bottled water, it is also quite a lot cheaper. For every $1.50 used for a bottle of water, it equals 2,000 gallons of water from your tap. All that aside, rest assured that thanks to all the hard-working men and women of the county's water plants, your water is clean and safe to drink.